I am Dr. G. Mahesh from SRR Engineering College. This is PPT on a OOP. The expansion of the OOP is uh, Object Oriented Programming. Uh, objectives of uh, this uh, lecture are first of all to introduce uh, the course and then what is meant by OOP's paradigm and overview of the paradigm and to demonstrate uh, the benefits of the object oriented programming. The description of the course is like this. First of all in this course object oriented programming principles and techniques are demonstrated. Using the C++ as uh, C++ uh, uh, is the best way to illustrate all the object oriented programming principles and uh, using Java also we can illustrate uh, object oriented programming as it is a uh, pure object oriented programming language after that each and every concept like classes, data abstraction, data hiding encapsulation, inheritance, polygon prism and overlighting are all demonstrated in C++ using different programs and uh, then the file processing uh, facilities uh, and the templates and exception handling in C++ is uh, demonstrated using the code then we go to Java basics along with uh, the packages and the multi-threading in uh, Java. The prerequisites of the course are first of all before knowing uh, uh, C++ we have some concepts of uh, C program then only we can go to C++. For uh, learning Java it is preferable to have C++ and also What is the importance of uh, OOPS? Why do you learn OOPS? We learn OOPS since uh, almost all the latest programming languages uh, uh, like C++, Java and Python follow OOPS only. And another thing is for software development also uh, you use uh, object orientation that is uh, in uh, object oriented software engineering you know about how to develop a software using an uh, object uh, oriented paradigm. What is meant by OOP? Object oriented programming. Object oriented programming is basically a paradigm in which uh, data is the critical element. That means uh, while developing object oriented uh, program, first of all you have to concentrate on data that means uh, first of all you have to start uh, developing the program by knowing what are the objects uh, that are there in that application and then you have to write the code therefore first of all you identify what are the objects and then you can identify classes then only you develop uh, object oriented program but uh, in a procedure oriented program you start programming with uh, uh, knowing what is the procedure for uh, doing that program or what is the algorithm behind writing that uh, program then only you go start writing the program let us compare OOP and uh, POP in OOP emphasis is on data in a POP, emphasis is on algorithm. In the OOPS, uh, uh, the program is divided into objects. In a POP, program is divided into functions. In the OOPS, data is hidden and safe. But in a POP, global data is used. In the OOPS, uh, bottom-up approach is followed. In a POP, 
top down approach is uh, followed uh, and uh, more reusability is there in uh, oops uh, because of uh, inheritance and polymorphism whereas uh, in a pop less reusability is there because uh, it does not have such mechanisms oop is uh, uh, easy to modify but uh, procedure oriented program is difficult to um, modify what are the advantages of object oriented programming one of the first one is reusable due to inheritance of object oriented programming you can use the same class uh, structure in the different classes that are inherited from that class and uh, another reusable technology is uh, polymorphism and uh, operator overloading with which uh, the same operator can be used for different purposes and uh, then maintainability as uh, it follows uh, inheritance uh, it is uh, it can be easily maintainable that means you can change the requirements uh, easily and then modularity every program generally has uh, this uh, 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 modularity in the uh, oops is maintained by uh, the classes uh, and the different functions and uh, the object programming uh, has uh, the good property of the simplicity as uh, it is very nearer to the real world scenario and then it is also very easy to test as we have already told that it is very nearer to the uh, real world scenario therefore you can test it uh, uh, using those uh, scenarios and then uh, it provides a security uh, by hiding the data for example uh, the data members in a class are private so that uh, 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 they are uh, hidden in that uh, uh, they are available to that uh, uh, class only but not the other class uh, members some of the applications of c++ are uh, uh, almost all operating systems were developed using c and c++ only uh, for example microsoft windows uh, mac os and uh, linux and uh, it is uh, c++ is very shortable for uh, developing uh, graphical user interfaces and especially uh, games some of the job applications are uh, a mobile app it is best developed using the java because uh, uh, java virtual machine runs on every device nowadays therefore uh, it is the best way to develop a mobile application it is compatible with uh, microsoft windows and android also and uh, you know uh, generally web applications are developed using uh, java only and that uh, uh, java server pages you know as a conclusion it is the present ne day need to have oops concepts and you have to learn c++ and java also